You're watching 2 News Works For You in High Definition. Good evening, I'm Karen Larson. And I'm Russ McCaskey. Thanks for joining us. Changes are coming to Oklahoma's Constitution. Voters passed eight of the 11 state questions yesterday. One makes English the state's official language. 2 News reporter Marla Carter joins us live from Tulsa Public Schools headquarters to tell us how it could affect the district. Marla? Russ, Tulsa Public Schools has a number of students who are learning English as their second language. So we went to work to find out how this new law will affect the district. So what is the point of the box? Kara Lovell is teaching an English class, but for the past eight years, she's been teaching it to some students who are learning it as a second language. Students that I have are bilingual. They are of varying degrees of English, but they definitely have fluency in another language. Schools receive state funding along with federal funds. So now that the state's official language is English, will this class be affected? Tulsa Public School says no. I don't think it's hit the schools because it's federal funding. Um, but I'm, I'm eager to see how it plays out. Lovell is right. The federal funds will protect TPS's English learning programs. But there are other state services that could be affected. The legislator who's behind the state question, George Fott, says he expects it to affect state forms, applications, and licenses. All of those, he says, will likely be in English only. But it's up to the legislature to determine exactly what will be included or excluded from the new law. Some of the exclusions could include public safety and public defense. It's a law a TU professor says is unconstitutional. And the Oklahoma Supreme Court held that an English-only provision violated the free speech clause of the Constitution. So what other things do you think of? As for what Lovell thinks, she's continuing to see how the law plays out as she continues doing what she loves, teaching. It's enriching to be able to touch their lives, to teach them information, to work on their social skills, to shape their future, you know, teach them that they have a future. That TU professor, Professor Thomas, says he'll likely file a federal lawsuit within the next two weeks. Reporting live from Midtown, Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. Speaking